Hello parents and guardians, and thank you for joining me for this week's Hancock Highlights. This week's questions have been from parents wanting to know and understand more about the distance learning component, so that will be our topic this week. Distance learning is complicated. The main reason it is complicated is because half of our student population do not have ongoing live streaming internet service. If every child in our district had this service in conjunction with our giving everyone who needs a device, we could operate a full school day of instruction interactively and never miss a beat. However, this scenario is not our reality. So we have to improvise. The state mandates that we provide 330 minutes of instruction each day. This expectation is reasonable with in-person learning, but is greatly difficult for distance learning. So here is what we have to do. The teachers are providing instruction in many ways. All teachers have a Google Classroom or something similar. They can upload lessons and videos in the Google Classroom as well as attach links for live instruction. This is great for those students who have internet access. Most everyone though, even without internet service, they have their phones and they can access their emails to receive, excuse me, retrieve some of their assignments. These students may not be able to do everything, but they should attempt to complete as much and as many assignments as possible. Then they should upload or reply to the teacher as much as possible. For the students who do not have internet access or cell phone, cell phone service, we have packets available as needed. Teachers were directed to make phone calls and talk to students about any questions that they have about any of their assignments and teach as much as they can over the phone. We do use a system called School Status and it is a phone system where we can actually do video chats with students outside of having an internet service. There's also another system called Go Guardian. This too can provide some conversations to students and family. Um, the great thing about Go Guardian is that we can actually track what students are doing. So parents, if your child tells you they ran out of data because of so much schoolwork, inspect what you expect. The school administrator can let you know exactly what your child's doing. You'd be amazed. We've discovered much data loss to gaming and movie watching rather than instruction. We want our students to learn and we have to have expectations. We have to take attendance. So you may get some pressure from your teachers to do their work, turn things in on time, etc. Don't panic. They're doing their job. I have charged them to push as though they were in a live session because I want all children to succeed. If you have something going on in your home that is preventing your child from learning, contact the teacher. I want you too to have peace of mind. I've listened to a lot of parents upset about something and they've never even asked the teacher for help. The teacher should always be your first phone call, then the principal, and then me. But I'm always willing to help you. So this distance learning thing is tricky, but we're all gonna get through it. Our children deserve that. So I hope this has cleared up any questions that you may have had about distance learning, or if you have any more, please email me at superintendent at hancockschools.net. I look forward to getting your uh, emails, as well as what's on your mind so that we can plan for our future video sessions. Thank you and have a great week.